welcome to Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And today, what I've got going on for you is Spam Tacos. Now, let me tell you, I was making some Spam Tacos a couple, three weeks ago, maybe a little longer than that. I was making it with some jalapeno uh, Spam and some hot and spicy Spam. Good Spam Tacos. Not always my favorite. I like the chorizo Spam and jalapeno Spam to make Spam Tacos with. But I had not seen the chorizo Spam since uh, the pandemic started. Hopefully, they still make it. Anyway, I was making some Spam Tacos, and I had those for lunch. I didn't make a video about it or anything, shoot it or anything like that, just making Spam Tacos because I like Spam Tacos. And uh, later that evening, lo and behold, my boy Rosie, that's what he says. He says, hello fam, it's your boy Rosie. Yeah, Roselle Simpson, check out his channel. I'll have it right there in the iCard, all right? Right there in the iCard, and um, you can uh, check out his channel, all right? He was making Spam sandwiches, but he wasn't just using regular Spam. Oh no, he was using Spam jalapeno, all right? Yep, the jalapeno Spam, all right? And uh, I was thinking, man, I had that today with Spam tacos. And he was making a Spam sandwich on a camping stove and stuff. And um, I thought that was really cool. And then a uh, week went by and I said, you know what? I sure would like some more Spam tacos with some pico de gallo. So I went to the store to buy more Spam and uh, they didn't have jalapeno spam. So I got the hot and spicy and the hickory smoke spam. Spam tacos were still pretty darn good. Even with the hickory smoke spam. Would have been good with the bacon spam, the chorizo spam, which I missed, the black pepper spam, which I hadn't seen in a while either. But they were out of this. So we made these uh, spam tacos this time with the uh, hot and spicy and the um, hickory smoke. Anyway, you can make spam tacos with any flavor spam you want to make. They're always good. I like to put pico de gallo on mine, so we're going to start off by showing you uh, how to make pico de gallo. Then I'll show you how I made the spam tacos. Anyway, uh, check out Roselle Simpson. If you haven't seen his channel, he's got a great channel. Likes to cook in that big, easy uh, fryer all the time. By the way, I made these tacos inside on my stove, as I usually do. And uh, But you can make them you know, outside on the grill or griddle, anything you wanted to make them on. Um, one of those disc, plow disc things I've been cooking in lately. You can make them in anything you want to make them on. I just did it in the uh, Lodge Carbon Steel Skillet in my stove inside. Anyway, check out uh, Rosie. Check out how we make Spam tacos. And thank you for checking out my channel. Been a while since I posted, uh, but glad to have a video back up. I made this several weeks ago and just hadn't put it together yet. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. All right, I wish I had half a dozen Roman tomatoes, but I only had four. Two limes, an onion, two jalapenos because I wanted it spicy, and a little bit of that cilantro. You can see the cilantro on the right-hand side of your screen there. That's it all cut up. We toss it into a bowl, and we add salt, as much salt as you want, and then black pepper as much as you want. If you like it really peppery, add more, you know? It's your baby. You spank it. Some people put garlic in theirs, and sometimes I will put garlic in it when I'm putting it on tacos, but generally not if I'm serving it with chips. All right, cut up the two limes into four halves, Squeeze all four halves in there, stir it around, and you wanna let it sit at least about 20 to 30 minutes before you make the tacos. All right, there's the uh, hickory smoke and the uh, hot and spicy Spam. I couldn't find the jalapeno Spam that day. I was kind of disappointed, and, or I wouldn't have used the hickory smoke Spam, but they were good with the uh, hickory smoke as well. And um, I also like the chorizo and the black pepper Spam. That's also good in tacos as well. Any flavor works in tacos. What I'm doing is julienne and the Spam up, and then we're gonna cut those little julienne uh, French fry looking strips into uh, halves or thirds, into little pieces about that size right there. So I'm gonna do the other block. It looks like this. All right, now there's a large carbon steel skillet. That's the eight inch skillet. And I'm gonna toast up uh, a dozen corn tortillas, about 30 seconds per side, flip them over and put them into a tortillera, some sort of bowl or a cast iron pot or whatever you have to keep them warm. All right, and so there's a dozen of them and they're all in there just staying warm and ready to make my tacos. If you wanna use the preformed shells, you can. If you wanna use flour tortillas, you can. All right, tossing the Spam in there, and that eight inch skillet will hold like one block of Spam cut up like that. Uh, I've got it all mixed together because it's all gonna get mixed together anyway. And so I'm just doing it in two batches here, all right? But you wanna let it sizzle like it's sizzling right there, and then get brown and toasty on all sides of each one of those pieces, all right? And that's why we um, 
cut it up before we cook it so we can get each one of those pieces kind of toasted, right? You're going to toss it around, stir it around, shake it around, whatever, until it's all done and looks like that. Man, I wish you could smell it. It was so good. All right, their first batch is in the bowl. Second batch goes in the bowl. I've got some avocado cut up on the side of the cutting board, some cheese too. You can dress your tacos however you want to. I'm going to dress mine like I want to. I mean, if it's your taco, it's your baby, you spank it, you know? So anyway, um, put the tortillas on there, put some spam on there, all right? Put that delicious pico de gallo. And as you can see, that color of the pico, I wish it had about two more tomatoes in it, but it was good anyway, all right? And, um... You know, I love to put pico de gallo on a taco. Put a little avocado slice, a little cheese, really load these tacos up, all right? And they add your favorite hot sauce. I got Cholula, Tapatio, Tabasco Chipotle, Texas Pete, El Yucateco, whatever you want to put on there, all right? And those tacos were so loaded, they wouldn't stay folded, baby. Look at that. They were absolutely delicious. All right, thanks for watching. I like to say it in Spanish. Gracias por mirar.